Hey, what's up? I'm Dave Boyer, aka Mr. Boyer, aka The Swamp Man. I'm in the Badlands National Park in South Dakota. And it's been a busy day. We're trying to avoid crowds. So um, we decided, maybe I should say I decided that we needed to take an off trail hike. So we just came up this valley here. And this is in the area called the Yellow Mounds area of the Badlands. You can see the lower layer here is kind of like it's got a yellowish color. And then you've got that dark red, almost purple layer between it and the top gray. So what's going on there? Well, it has to do with the history of this area. Um, the story of these different colors goes back as much as 37 million years ago. So they've had different types of ecosystems here over the past 37 million years. Um, our planet has changed a lot. Plates are moving. Uh, they're being driven by convection currents in the mantle and they're sliding around, they're crashing into each other, they're separating away from each other, and they're changing what the earth is like. So 37 million years ago, and they know this because they found fossils in this area down in the bottoms of some of these um, valleys like we just wa were walking in. Um, 37 million years ago, this was an ocean-like environment, um, rich with sea creatures. So there's lots of fossils of small sea creatures um, that have been found here. Well, then we had a period of warming, and somewhere around 22 million years ago, this area was filled with basically a tropical rainforest. And the tropical rainforest was rich with a lot of nutrients, a lot of minerals. And those minerals, after um, you know the moving past of that time, as things died down, the trees fell down, organisms that lived here died, they became a part of that yellow layer. So that yellow layer represents the tropical rainforest um, that was in this area about 22 million years ago. Well, following the rainforest, you get the establishment of the prairie. And the prairie is represented by that dark red band that we see. Um, there was a lot of iron, so that probably suggests some uplifting, some new minerals coming up from the mantle or deeper in the crust, um, and some of that being iron. And iron, when it is exposed to oxygen and water, it will rust. So that's actually rock that has rust on it in that middle layer. And then we have the modern layer on top of that, which is characterized. Let me show you some of this rock. And it's characterized by these gray kind of pellet-like rocks, um, which are really soil particles that are just now beginning to be cemented together um, to form into some rock. So this layer of gray on the top is going to get bigger over time as the valleys get deeper. So we're going to expect the Badlands to grow in size. I just think it's got some really neat color in here and I really wanted to come off the trail and take a look at it up close and get away from some of the crowds that are here. It's a warm day, um, not as hot as yesterday, but we're definitely sweating and working hard because it's not an established trail. but. I just wanted to stop here and share it with you and tell you that science rocks. Peace.